Hello there, I'm Artistic Gamer 7 and I'm back with some more Sims for the Eevee family. So as you can see, Eevee is asleep. Jotion actually just got back from work. He brought us back $602, which is nice. I hear a toddler running around somewhere and Caleb is at the front door. Hi, Caleb. I'm gonna assume you're either here to talk to Umbreon or Vaporeon. That's the main two that I know that you know pretty well, I think. Yeah, I think you're actually friends. Yeah, you're friends with the Vaporeon at least. So I know the toddler is actually coming to talk to her, but I'm going to go ahead and let her invite him in since he's here. <laughs> um, but... Okay. Replace. Don't know why her responsibility just went down. She just stood on the top of the stairs and her responsibility went down. But anyway, I've been doing a few things off camera. Mainly, the main thing is I haven't done got one for Jolteon yet. But every single one of the Eevee siblings has like a club they're a part of. There went Caleb. <laughs> So, um, of course, you already knew of. There he went again. <laughs> Evie's, which Evie's main purpose for her having her club is to basically have a, sort of my Pokemon. Oh! Oh! Umbreon! Not Umbreon. I looked up there and seen Umbreon, but if Flareon has got her promoted promotion and she gets to pick which branch. So without even reading, I already know which branch I wanted to go on, which is the chef one. It takes a special touch to craft exquisite food. Begin your journey of making Sims weak in the knees with dangerous, del dangerously delicious dish. Rewards include the ability to make higher quality cakes. So... I know that's for sure what I want her to have. <laughs> is that particular- who is that? Ah, I know who you are. But, anyway, so that's nice. Also, talking about promotions, I was about to get to it. Before I forgot too much. But, Vaporeon actually also got a promotion when I was not recording. And she actually did have to select which branch she went down. She is in the art one. She went down the um, patron of the arts section. So that's what she is doing. The toddler's crying. But what I was saying was that they're all a part of clubs except for Jolteon because I still got to make his or add to it. I haven't decided if he's going to join one that's already existing or make one. But Eevee did already have one. Hers is mainly to bring the little Pokemon crew of my Sims people together. And I, not that. I did think I had a mod installed that it was a perk. Yeah. Is that it? No. That's not it. This it? Maybe I don't have it installed and I just found it and I meant to install it. Or maybe it's not working. What's that? Parenting boost. Oh, that's different. There is one mod that I've seen somewhere or meant to get that allows you to have even more than eight sims in your group. And I thought it was an extra perk unless allow up to seven sims in your club. Allow up to two eight sims in your club. I don't know. I thought I had it. Maybe I don't have it. Uh, not really sure. I'll figure that. I'll actually look into that later. But I want to get it so that I can actually add all of the people who are like Pokemon type because I have Pikachu, I have Mew and Mewtwo, I have Clefairy. I want to say there's someone else. Maybe not. But, and then I have 
these group and then the three other evolutions that are not in here. But I mean, technically, because I can invite her family around, that's why her family is not a part of it. I can just eventually add Mewtwo and Pikachu, which are two that I definitely know that are, and I feel like there is another one, but maybe there's not. I wouldn't mind actually doing more in the future. And I actually have three particular ones in mind that I'm thinking about adding eventually. But I may have to go and look into that mod again and see if it is installed or if I never got it and I meant to get it. I don't know. But anyway, she has this one. But that was the main point of that one. It wasn't so much like, it was more for me <laughs> as a game perspective. But... Flareon is now in the upper crust, which was one of the original ones. I think she's the only one that's actually in the original. But I did delete a lot of the Sims that were put to be part of this. And so the only Sim that I kept that was a part of it was Clara, which was the leader. So <laughs> I had to add other people in, but luckily Flareon knew some people who were like into the whole cooking and mixology type stuff. So I added those people in. Espeon has one. I, I just called it DNA for now. Because I was sort of in a hurry because I was about to go somewhere. Well, not go somewhere, but do something outside real quick. That right before I set up. I just called it DNA to try to make it sort of sound scientist-y. But maybe later on I can try to come up with like maybe what it stands for all together of course like in DNA is like genetics and stuff like that in real world and that's what it's sort of referencing to but maybe make up something clever for them to be using it as both but anyway it's like the scientist basically you have to actually be in the scientist career to be able to be a part of this club and she's actually got it maxed out as of right now um uh, Leo y'all probably have already should know, I mean, if you've watched any of my Tony Life series, Leo is a very common character and one of my favorite characters, so you should see him quite often. Cecilia, anytime, she's there a lot in the scientist career, and so is Alona. Marth is sort of new, and I've mentioned him here and there at places, and I think Ruby has tried to talk to him, or maybe she already did. I can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure she tried to, but it didn't work out. Riker is a very, very, very new character to my town, actually. I do have plans for him, but <laughs> we'll get to that later on. But anyway, and then Umbreon has one that is supposed to be like for vampires and vampires enthusiasts, but in some ways it's also just for his benefit so that he can also just like create a group gathering or like try to create a group gathering and hang out with some vampires and learn more about them. Because he literally is the only one who is not a vampire in this club. I mean, Y'all should know who Darcy is from previous EV series family. Like, Umbreon actually went and talked to her, went into Forgotten Hollow, and went to her house. And I think Tanner has come over here before. Also, you should know him from the 100 Baby Challenge. Now, Carrie, she is a new one. I think she absolutely looks really cool and she's one of my favorite sims that I've made. But she is new and so is Lizzie. Lizzie is actually a character that my niece made who is a vampire. But you know what? I was like, it'd be sort of funny and sort of cute to add, let her character show through sometimes every once in a while in my playthrough. So that is who she is. She. But like I said, she is a vampire. She's also married to a vampire, and she already has two babies. The twins, actually. So, but he still has another slot. He was thinking about adding Indra, because he does know Indra. But then he was like, because of recent events, Indra and Vaporeon have broken up. He's like, maybe let it simmer down a little bit. Maybe wait. So he didn't add him. He's still considering it, because he's like the first vampire he ever actually met in person. But he's like, eh, that's a little dangerous. <laughs> and you may have seen hers when I switched her to talk about her promotion, but I did call hers mermaids. I wanted to have her, like, because it's Vaporeon. She's the water type version. 
to go swimming and stuff like that. And honestly, like, I don't really do as much with the pools and stuff like that as much as I would like to. I don't know. Something about the pools in Sims 4 it doesn't seem like the Sims gravitate towards them very much. Unless you go to an actual pool location. Because then that's, like, the main thing there. But if it's on, like, a lot or... It's just a small part of it, and there's a lot of other things to do. They don't seem to pay attention to the pools on their own too much. And even when you make them go in there, they don't stay in there too often. So I thought she would be a really cool person to actually put on here. Like, this would be a cool group for her, is what I was trying to get to. For And it's literally nothing but, like, water activities, except for the drinks, which it's still a liquid. But I figured it have at least one little other thing that they can do while they're at hanging out at a pool or whatever. I haven't decided on what location. I was thinking about making like the island bluffs just because it's sort of a little deserted area. But I did, I think I did change it up a little bit one time. I think I'm going to go back in and maybe fix some more things about it and maybe make it a little bit more for them and make it almost like their hangout. Because I originally tried to make it like a teen hangout and I changed my mind. But I think I'm going to go and edit it so it's more of their hangout and make it their place where they meet up. But anyway, so there's that. Like I said, Jolteon still has to make one. I want to make his, like, basically the athletes and stuff like that. His co-workers. I know one particular co-worker who has gotten quite as far as Jolteon in the career is Lander, so I would love to have Lander as one of the members. And I feel like Lander is also a character that just has to pop up in every single series that I have of Sims 4. <laughs> just, he's just one of those people. But, um... Uh... <laughs> so, there's their clubs. I do look forward to, like, actually getting their clubs. And just like I said with Vaporeon, I do want to try to set up, like, maybe little places. Maybe go look on the gallery or something like that. For them to all hang out at or edit current lots. Because I like trying to edit some of the current locks that Maxis and like EA have already got in here. But make them my own, but still make them part of the original game. So maybe you can see like ways to change it up, but still keep it true to the game or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Maybe you get what I'm trying to say, but I'm not wording it very well. But anyway. Oh, hugs! <laughs> I forgot he was here, to be honest with you. I'm still really curious of what Caleb is wanting, to be honest with you. I think I mentioned in the last one, like, right before I started to record, because I was waiting for a certain point to start recording in the last episode, that Indra had called her trying to get her to go back on a date for the promotion she got that she actually had not gotten. She had not gotten promoted in a while, even though she did just get promoted today, at least this sim day. And then not yeah. too long after that, Caleb had oh, called oh, and was like, room. I have something really important to ask of you. Can I hang out with you right now? And I had to deny him. For one, I think it was really late at night and she was asleep. But also I had other plans at the time. Oh, there's a camera sitting up here. I just now realized that. So I never actually figured out what it was that he wanted from Vaporeon or wanted to ask her. And now he has just showed up on their, like, to their house to hang out, and I don't know where he's at right now. Oh, wait, is he on the slide? He is on the slide. You know, this is sort of maybe a weird statement to ask, but you almost never see vampires swimwear. <laughs> So I don't think I've ever seen him in his swimwear either. <laughs> but it's sort of funny now that I think about it. But yeah, I really, I don't know what he's wanting. Like, and it's sort of weird that the timing that he wanted to ask something is after she breaks up with Indra. But I don't, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess I could have her go hang out with him since I think yeah. she knows him the most. Maybe. I don't think Umbreon knows him. Oh, Umbreon knows him somewhat well. I don't remember if there was a reason why I didn't add him into the club or not. He may have not showed up for some reason. I don't remember, actually. But. Hmm. 
I'm not really quite sure why I didn't ask Caleb to be a part of that club. What? Wait. What? What's going on? She still has Caleb over here, but then she's also has her. I'm really confused <laughs> as to what's going on. But anyway, also in reference to the last episode, if you remember, was it the last episode or was it the episode before? I record a lot in groups, and sometimes I I forget. It was either in the last episode or the one before. They all went to the romance festival in a way to try to like they were hanging out with Vapor and trying to get her to sort of get over and forget about Indra. All right, sorry about that. I got a call and I had to go do something. So anyway, but what I was saying, where did I leave off? Don't know exactly where I left. But anyway, I was saying that they they went to the romance festival. She, the, her reading was different and basically it was like saying that it'd be a long journey to find the one or you wouldn't realize the one, it, they were the one until later or they wouldn't realize you were the one till later, so on and so forth. But, you know, she thought it was a little silly and all that stuff and especially since, you know, all of her other siblings also got told that theirs was bleak, but she knows that she has faith in her siblings that eventually they'll find someone. But little do they know that she sort of has been talking to someone, sort of flirting with them. Probably not really the best person to be talking to, honestly, if you're really looking for a relationship. And before, if you watch my series, it isn't Lander. Lander. <laughs> is probably worse than this guy, but when it comes to actually having a relationship with, but they don't know. She's been sort of trying to sneak him around or sneak out to go talk to him and stuff like that. Just because like, she's a little awkward about these things. And when it comes to recent events, she knows that, you know, because of like Vaporeon, what is she's talking to no one i'm gonna assume that it was originally caleb but he did this whole fast running thing and it's no longer there he's up here <laughs> i'm gonna let her go talk to him some more but um so she's like just keeping it low for now because they're a very close tight-knit family they look out for each other and everything like that and when one gets hurt all the others are like eh we don't we don't like you like, they're a little iffy about them like stuff. so she's just sort of keeping things on the low for now but no one has caught on yet so wonder how long that would go on don't really know but who knows? Maybe maybe uh, Vaporeon's gonna yeah. even have a thing with Caleb. <laughs> for <laughs> some reason. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what he's trying to hint at. Like, hey, I think we could be a thing. <laughs> you know, hey, whatever. And he's gone. <laughs> Vaporeon, I don't know if you should be talking to these vampires. I don't know if they work out for you. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just go. <laughs> oh, she didn't even eat her chicken nuggets. Are those chicken nuggets? They are chicken nuggets. She didn't eat her chicken nuggets. What the heck? <sighs> but anyway, what was I talking about? What was, I I get so distracted by things, and it is really hot in my room. But my air conditioner is too loud. I guess I can try to turn on my fan, but I've never attempted to see what my fan sounds like on a recording. Like the little fan that I sort of have. Right now it's currently tucked away in the corner. But, heh. Heh. But it is summer, so it stays hot. It wasn't too bad last night when I got home from work. And I was planning on recording when I got home from work. But then it started storming. And there was thundering and raining and 
too loud for the recording and my cat was hiding under my chair because she was terrified Just all sorts of stuff and i was like great <laughs> there goes that plan nobby. and nobby oh i didn't know my phone was on at least the sound oh, of my phone. Oh. I didn't know it was on. <laughs> I should say that. Uh, where is the... Also, like, you may have... I think I've stated it a little bit that my... In the last episode or so, that my mouse has been acting funny. It's sort of getting worse. <laughs> and it's definitely my mouse and not so much, like, certain programs or certain games or anything like that. I click once, but it's, like... The sensitivity or something is messed up or there's something in my mouse. I, I don't know what it is. But it thinks that it's I'm double tapping when I'm not. So things will like go up and down immediately. And like sometimes when I'm trying to go on a like if I'm on the lowest floor and if there's three floors and I'm trying to go to the mid floor, I can't get to just the mid floor. Luckily it happened that time when I'm talking about it, you know, it's gonna do that. But if you notice like it double clicks or weird things like that, that would be why. So, but I'm gonna send Evie and Jolteon to bed because it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I also at one point had a mod that was supposed to allow you to be able to call Sims during the odd hours of nights. I don't think they can do that anymore. It was mainly for like the vampires because it made no sense that you called a vampire in the day and be like, such and such can't come out right now because they're a vampire. And then when it would be, you would have like a very small window to be able to call them, basically, because it'd be like such and such is asleep. So it was like really frustrating. And I, I don't know if it just works just for vampires or if it's just everyone in general. But I almost want to see if I still have it and if it's for everyone in general. Uh, no. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Cause we're gonna see if we can invite someone over, so y'all can beat him. And all of our siblings are asleep right now, so right now would be a great time to get him to come over. <laughs> see, so you're gonna get mad at us because he's asleep. Sounds like she's talking to someone. But I don't know if he just answer, like woke up to answer the phone and I was like, hey, yeah, no, I'm asleep. Yeah, no, he's asleep. So, okay, apparently we can't invite him over. Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna make her go back to sleep then. He works tomorrow. Or today, rather. See, someone's calling her. <laughs> I have some, see, this is what popped up for when Caleb called. But I don't even, I don't even know if Espeon knows whoever that is. But whatever. <laughs> I don't know who you are. And I, well, I mean, I do know who you are, but I don't know you that well. <laughs> anyway, you're stinky. Or you're getting stinky. Can you go use the potty and take a bath? <laughs> I notice a lot of times when I end up talk, like talking to Evie or talking about Evie, my, my accent goes into that direction and I don't know what happens. I don't even really know what type of accent it's meant to be. <laughs> but it just happens. <laughs> I I didn't really notice I did it until I started like editing my recordings of like the Evie series and then I realized how I did it all the time and almost every time. <laughs> So if it's annoying, I'm, I apologize. It's just, it seems to happen and I do create a lot. <laughs> like I don't even realize I'm doing it. I even have a customer voice as some people call it because I work in retail at a clothing store. And I think for a girl, my voice, I feel like my voice is pretty deep for a girl. A lot of people tell me it's fine, but me personally, I feel like that way. And I think because I had that mindset, I tried to change my voice because I didn't think my voice sounded like nice in general, like, like super nice and super inviting and whatever. <laughs> so I have a different voice when I'm talking to customers and it's really strange. And I'm sure some customers sometimes think it's weird because like, 
I'm going to talk to them like I greet them and like stuff, and then I'll immediately go around, like turn to my coworker and start talking to my coworker in my normal voice because like I'm comfortable with them, like I see them all the time, and they're probably like, her voice just completely changed. <laughs> and even <laughs> my coworkers laughed at me because even when I answer the phone. And I'll answer the phone in that voice, and once they say it's them, my voice immediately, whoop, is back to the normal thing, and they'll laugh at me all the time. But, I don't know, Some sometimes my voice, even my voice has habits that it just turns into, <laughs> I don't know why it does that. But, anyway, I really don't know how Flareon's gonna sneak him over this time around, because it's really hard because there's so many of them that live here. And none of them really go to work at the same time anymore. Like, it used to be that Eevee and Vaporeon went, I think, at the same time. And then Umbreon and Espeon went at the same time. And they were only going an hour after Eevee and Vaporeon. So there was really only Jolteon. And to be honest with you, out of all of them, Jolteon's probably the one who gives, like, cares the least. Like, he'll be like, eh, okay, hey. <laughs> And not say a word to the rest of them. Like, <laughs> if you were going to have a secret of some sort, and you didn't want the rest of your siblings to know, and you had to have one sibling to know, it'd probably be Jolteon. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the one sibling that you would be okay with knowing, because you would know that he wouldn't really judge you, or not say anything. He's probably, like, literally the most chill and most relaxed. Evie sort of is too, like, she's really nice about things and stuff like that. And she doesn't really want to be mean. She never wants to be mean or anything like that. And she's very cheerful, very friendly. But at the same time, it's like, these are my brothers and sisters. If you're gonna hurt them, then I'm gonna have a problem with you. <laughs> so, she is, she's very friendly, very cheerful, but she's also very protective. So that's the thing that draws her, like, makes you not want to tell her certain things. Like, I mean, I want to tell her this because maybe she's not going to like it because she's afraid it's not going to be good for me or good for my well-being or something. My arm really itches. It's like one of my scars from, I had a four-wheeler accident a few years ago. It's pretty bad, but I have a scar in this one spot. I have scars in multiple spots from that accident. But this one in particular is itching right now. <laughs> and I don't know why. Ah, uh, I should probably not scratch it. That, that, that would probably be the smarter thing to do. I hear a little baby. Hey, little Lynn. Lynn, I actually have it on the long lifespan for all my... Oh. Everyone's running around the bathroom and i'm glad that like lynn is the only one like i think it's just because it's a toddler thing but no one cares to use the bat like walk through the bathroom when she's using the bathroom and she doesn't care that they're in there either in fact like when i loaded the game in one time flareon was sitting here using the bathroom and lynn was sitting here using the bathroom and i was like well uh, hey <laughs> y'all having like a little friendly poop session <laughs> but <laughs> hey, I don't know. She is hungry. What are you doing, hey, Borion? Um, I still have yet to get Ellie and Lynn to know each other. Oh, but I was saying, um, uh, even though I have it set on the long lifespan, she is getting. She doesn't have many days till she actually naturally ages up. So. Vaporeon soon isn't going to have a little toddler. Like, it's not long from now that she doesn't have a little toddler. So, that's going to be pretty interesting to see how she turns in, into a child. She is just a human, at least from all my knowledge. Like, when you go into Create a Sim, it doesn't have the little vampire thing above her. So, from what I know, she is 100% human. She doesn't have any vampire in her. She's just pretty pale and has light blonde hair, like her father. But otherwise, that's just about it. She's finally going to go eat those chicken nuggets she had earlier. Oh, you're inside the pillow. All right. <laughs> Jolteon's like, hey, apparently 
It's going to go talk to Vibora. That's cool. Oh. On sad note. <laughs> and see, the thing is, the guy that she is having a thing with still lives with his ex. <laughs> so that's also a thing. <laughs> you actually, if you recognize his picture and you've watched some of my previous let's like previous episodes and like the Chowney life series and things like that I have actually mentioned the sim I don't know if I've ever necessarily mentioned his name but I have mentioned the sim several times like talked about in particular like his family dynamic you might be figuring out who it is all right so Jolteon and Umbreon are leaving and looky there, Seth has come just as they left. So this is the guy that Flareon has been having a little thing with. His name is Seth. He does actually have a child already and it's actually Avery if you ever remember seeing her walk around and I talk about how she lives with both of her parents still, but her parents are not together and it's constant bickering because they he has moved on. Like he's seen other people since then, but her mother still hasn't fully moved on, but he's sort of a free floater in her house. <laughs> but absorber. now she has a thing with Flareon currently. So, now that all of her siblings are gone, it's time to have him over. But I will say, I have this thing, I'm, I'm, since I have both of them here, actually, let me figure out what's wrong with the toddler. Oh, the toddler smells. And the toddler needs fun. The toddler's gonna go play. She can't exactly clean herself, but her fun's down the most. So I'm gonna let her go and do what she's doing and go play. But I have this glitch or this thing, I noticed it off camera with a few different sims but most of the time when I go to do this oh thanks that was really late they'll go to do it but then they'll just stand there and then nothing happens and then they act like it wasn't even a thing that they were gonna try to do so I don't know if it's because it's a custom content bed and maybe some cons oh Vaporeon is already back from work. Okay. See, let's, let's ah, see. They glitch. Apron. They like snap into place and then they just stand there. And I don't know if it's maybe with some cons custom content beds, with all custom content beds, or just all beds in general currently. I don't think there's not a single bed in here that is. Wait, no. All three of their beds, and even Espeon's is all non-custom content so i could i could test it to see if it works in non-custom content beds and be sort of mean and do that <laughs> but i'm not gonna do that but since they're both standing right here see they're already standing right beside where they Boy. need to be <laughs> but it's still it won't happen. Well, yeah, they gotta go talk to each other, but it still won't Super happen. Lord. They're literally right there, and it still will not Ooh, happen. <laughs> They'll be all excited about and see the glitch. So I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. <laughs> so if any of y'all maybe know what it is, and maybe if there's something I can do, please let me know. Under if it's just custom content meds, so that I know that I'm not crazy, but. Close yeah. it, close uh -huh. it, close there are other blah, things blah, on the lots that I can use, so it's not like <laughs> the biggest deal in the world, but it still sort of bothers me somewhat. But he's already flirty. And time to get Flareon in a little flirty mood. Won't be too hard, I don't think. I mean, probably not. <laughs> Romance. Blow a kiss. Powerful compliments. <gasps> and their romance bar is higher up than their friendship bar, which is <laughs> probably not a good thing, but <laughs> that's just how it is. So, 
Flirt. Then, let's, you know, the bed's not an option currently, so let's, let's just go in the closet. Oh, that works too, right? And that will, that should help bring her fun up too, right? Okay. Why are you flirting? <laughs> oh, so Evie has gotten back here. So now Flareon's in the sort of getting into the danger zone of her siblings finding something. Oh goodness gracious! Oh my! Nothing's happening up here, guys. Nothing at all. Nothing. They're just both still standing outside. Why is even Vaporeon standing outside still? She got back home at three o'clock. Why is she still outside? She should probably go check on her toddler. So. And Evie has a lot of things that she actually needs to do, but she's, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> she's gonna go watch a movie. Hopefully she can watch the movie without being distracted by something going on upstairs. But... Uh -huh. Are y'all done up here? Because both of your sisters are already back. Oh, those doors do- those doors look like they were about to break. <laughs> y'all good. Because the sisters are home. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, be home. She's probably answering a text like he's like, what the heck was that noise? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But, I mean, she's gonna have to make up something later on to why there's a random guy walking around the house because he's not gonna leave. What are you watching? Oh. That. That thing. But, anyway, I think we're gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we hopefully will be joining one of the... Hi, Leo's daughter. I can't remember your name. I think it's Gracie. <laughs> um, we will be joining one of the clubs. Oh, I was like, this is funny because her bathing suit hasn't changed yet. <laughs> And one of the spots that I make for that, I think I'm going to try to go either change up or make spots for all of the groups. <laughs> I already, of course, have one for the Pokemon group, which I showed before. But we probably will be going on one or two group outings in the next episode, so hope you look forward to that. If you enjoyed this episode and learning about <laughs> Flareon's little fling then please hit that lovely like button and no, subscribe please. to see Slide. more of the Eevee family and other Sims 4 series that I have going on at the moment. I will have a link in the description below to all of those series, as well as info for my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, so go find me on those things. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.